Hungarian Uprising, Budapest, 1956, The Cold War After the Second World War, Hungary was absorbed as a satellite state of the Soviet Union. A communist government was established, political opposition was purged, and Matyas Rakosi, who was a strong supporter of Stalin, was appointed leader. Imre Naj would replace him in 1953 when Stalin died until 1955 because of his independent attitude. Rakoshi would again seize power, but his Stalinist leadership style, such as his use of the secret police to brutally put down opponents, made him unpopular with Hungarians, as did the low living standards. In June 1956, in the spirit of de-Stalinization, Rakoshi was forced by the Soviet Politburo to resign as general secretary. Khrushchev's policies of de-Stalinization also encouraged a sense of freedom among Hungarians to criticize the Soviet regime and improve relations with the West. A rise of protests by students and workers waving Hungarian flags with the communist emblem in the center cut out arose in Budapest, erupting into active fighting in October 1956. The rebels were successful in the first stages of the revolution against Soviet troops. They pulled down Stalin's statue and released political prisoners. Andras Hegedush was forced to resign and the popular Imre Naj now became prime minister. Fighting ceased on the 28th of October as the Hungarians believed that Soviet troops had withdrawn entirely. The new Hungarian government under Naj began to make reforms for free elections and an end of the secret police. In a radio address to the Hungarian people, Naj declared that Hungary would withdraw from the Warsaw Pact. Khrushchev was not happy with the idea of Hungary withdrawing, therefore making it neutral against the Soviet Union's enemies. On November 1, 1956, Soviet troops invaded Hungary, re-entering Budapest on the 4th of November. Naj had appealed to the United Nations to support the revolution, but Western powers did not intervene for risk of starting a global confrontation with the USSR. The Hungarians could not continue fighting against the numerous Soviet troops and tanks, and street fighting ceased after two weeks. A new pro-Soviet government was set up under Janos Kadar, while Naj was caught and later executed for treason in 1958. Subscribe to our channel for more animated history videos. Get Symbol History of the Cold War out today. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.